this whole world is like one very big entity. The world is not that. It is not a machine. It is an organism. And anything on the planet works in one or another way in connection. When you attack one ecosystem on one place, you also will in some way or in some aspects affect the ecosystem in other place on the earth. Now one thing is an island on himself. If you understand that, what I mean with that. And what we have to learn is to look to the whole system as a whole. And not think that we can fix the problem by focusing on one problem and not thinking about anything that is around the problem. For example, with the Fikita, one um, of the, actually the smallest whale species uh, on the planet. It belongs to the um, uh, it belongs to the Poporosis, and it is quite frankly one of the most endangered mammals on the planet. There are only 40 to 90 uh, around the world, and there are mainly living in the of of um, California, Mexico. That's their main habitat. That's actually the only place where they live. There are also sometimes been called the pandas of the ocean because there are black spots around their eyes, like pandas. They are very shy animals. They don't uh, show themselves so much as uh, other similar dolphins or proper authors. And they are most, most of the time like to avoid us. But they are one of the top predator species in the region, in the Gulf of California. In the Sea of Concordis. And if they are going extinct, it does not only affect that kind of species, but it also affects other species. Um, how then maybe go around and become too much of. So I say this whole world is a very large, complex, symbiotic organism. And not one thing is apart from each other. When this um, animal disappears, uh, since the uh, Fikita eats extremely severity of um, prey, it is not a picky either. And therefore, when, um, for example, they're disappearing, a lot of other species become. To become a growth too much and then will bring in danger other animals because then plants there is not one predator that attack them anymore and then you get too much of them because they're not can evolve to that state that there is no predator in that small part of time if you understand what I mean The Fikita is um, the main threat of the Fikita are actually uh, gill nets that are large nets that are standing in the ocean and 
when one fish swim in it, he gets strangled in it and can die in it. There are also ghost nets. Power problem for the Vegeta. Just like with uh, troll nets. Because they are also uh, bring in, in problem other kind of species that's been trapped in that weapons of destruction. Article of commercial fishing gear weapons of mass destruction because there are technically and spectacular when you look at troll nets there are actually break a break a hole into the ocean they also destroy coral reefs and uh, spectacular um, soft coral reefs and for what for something we for something that we don't need to survive period Nobody on the planet needs to eat animal products to survive. I will nothing become sick of explaining to people that the consumption of animals is unnecessary in this damn time. If we can put one man on the moon and design a computer that can play chess, then with absolute surety, mate, we can stop... Uh, fishing for good and we can uh, give anybody an honest job. Instead that, fish, uh, that fishermen become ang angry on environmentalists who oppose the practice of fishing for 100% like I. Then maybe we can better focus on the future because when the seas die their future is over and when the seas die all our future is over. When the seas die, we die. End of discussion. The jury is out. That's the facts. I present you with. So they can change their fishing culture into an eco-tourism uh, culture. That are make the Vigeta um, uh, Mascot, the animal of uh, Mexico, and protect it. Since that it is only there, find, you only can find it there. I say, why not? It's like um, Chinese, China do with a panda. You can make it commercial uh, they can make money of uh, watching these animals and, uh, if they go to more if there are more of them in the water then there are e more easily to spot and people I know oh people want to see them I lo look how cute you there are there are four point uh, 11 feet tall they are very cute and small and the adorable uh, black rings on their eyes so cute they look so gullible so uh, cute so i think children will want to have a you know, want to have a toy of this uh, animal. Most children uh, like cute things. And at least I know when I was young I like uh, like, that, like cute things. And not a shame to say that. Because uh, it does not make me last man or man last of a man or more of a man or whatever. I'm still me. And no matter how you want to look to me. I don't care. There are three laws of ecology in this planet. Basic laws. Essentials of laws. That we need to create. The first 
is that there must be diversity in life forms in an ecosystem to have a healthy ecosystem. Second, there's a limit of, of finite resources. That means there is a limited amount of grow. There is a limited amount of people can live in an area before it destroys and take away the spa life space of other animals in the area and the resources that that animal needs to survive. All species are interconnected with each other. All need each other in one or another way to survive. And no one can survive completely on their own. As long as people don't learn this unchangeable truth, this fact, there's no hope for our species. Absolute no hope. For as long as man will be the rootless destroyer of other living beings, he will not find health or peace. Indeed. How say the seeds of hatred and murder shall not find health, decency, respect for me? How can you ask for something you are not willing to give? It isn't fair to ask for something you are not willing to give. It is inconsistent. I will never accept inconsistency or injustice, even if it comes from the so-called law. So I have given you actually a reason why you sh why you can change your government states from um, a fishing buy to an e to an eco tourism buy. What I suggest will, in the longer run, create far more money for you, for your government, and give you a better image because we all know that um, Mexico have a bad image because of their drug cartels uh, but if the Mexico government show the world that they can give about their ecology by protecting endangered species and live more in harmony with the ecosystem more uh, and uh, living more a more vegan lifestyle instead of a more fish based or animal based fish are, are animals by the way but some people think not i think the world will look a lot better to them if you understand what i mean learn to be humble let me not forget that the real watching industry today earns more money than the whaling industry. Take that in mind before you think you uh, cannot make more money from uh, watching uh, Fikitas than you will make from selling their bladders to China. I see.